Hello, my friend. Here, that's the super lifting Y arm for the IWL 1350 crane top. So, if yours, this rope, it is not with tension. It's very loose, so cannot pull in this one back. It's dropping there. How to make more tension to it? So, here, one, two, three, four, five screw. This small screw. Take out. And from other side, turn around. Here you will see one, two, three, four, five. So totally ten screw. After ten screw remove this cover, you can pull out. That's the cover. After pull out, you will see this rope is tightened here. So this rope, yeah, we can just hold in the rope, and here this screw we can lose it, or you can directly. First, just cut this rope. I will take out. So I will cut here. You will see, pulling it, holding this side, yeah? Otherwise, it will be turning all the way back. So here, I can directly cut it. After cut, this rope slowly coming. And actually, you can hold it this side. If you release, it will all the way turn it, turn it until the tension gone. Now it's mo no more tension. So from this side, the rope is holding to the screw. Actually, you can screw out this screw. Take out the rope. Okay, so the rope, you can remove it. Later, you can make one more again. So from this side, turning. It's already loosed, yeah? So now you can put a tap, the rope holding there. Then you can turn, reverse, giving tension. Now I will put tap holding this rope, otherwise it's getting loose. Holding the, the rope, holding there. Then, yeah? So now you can turn it all the way, feel the tension. It's already a little bit tension. Turning a little bit more, as you think it's enough tension. N like now, it's already a little bit tight. So, okay, let's give it more tension. So now, you can take out this tap with the end of the rope. So now you can pull it out. It's quite a lot of tension now. So it can always pull in the roller with tension. So now from this end, yeah, it will be. Like this, going through. Going through from top. Yeah, then pulling it out. You can pull it more. Then, so from this screw, yeah, you will have make a knob to tighten it. Pull more rope free for running through. Then you can hold it with a plier. Just holding there, the rope not going back. So. That's the cover, yeah. It should be coming from bottom between the roller. Coming out. Then, top, it's going to the roller, yeah. So, running through the roller. Running through. And from bottom, it should be coming out. Yeah, it's using. Running it through, let it come in, pull it out, then you will have the space here. You should come in going down, yeah. So from this end, leave the roller there, this side coming down until the roller going down, running it through. Then, like this, that's correct, yeah, for pulling. So then we make a knob. One round, back, like this, then this knob, running it through, this end, go through it, then leave a little bit, like a one centimeter length, so pulling tight. So this end, you burn a little bit, make a ball there, so not easy to get loose. So, and here, when you're pulling, it will self-lock. So leave a hole there. Then, this end, from this side, yeah. You'll see. So the 
screw going through the screw. Then we can tighten the screw. Okay, leave on the table. Going through the screw and tighten it. Screw running, going to the other side hole, lock it. Okay, it's there. No need to lock very tight, it's a very only small metal bar. I feel a little bit tight, it's enough already there. So this side tight, pulling, it will be self-locked. It's locked. Then from this end, pull it out, it's going to the ruler. So now, it's like this, yeah. Okay, it's already with tension. So we'll remove the plier. So this end, we can cover it back. Sliding in, so five screw, this side five screw, lock it back. It's already, the, the rope is already with tension. Thank you.